If you are a YouTuber, remember the names of these websites I'm about to show you because using them will save you money, time and of course help you grow your channel. And the best part is, as I'm filming this video, most or if not all of these websites are entirely free. And no, this video is not sponsored as I'm currently exploring these websites in my own workflow. Number 8 sounds illegal but I promise you it's not and number 11 is what most of the smart creators are currently using. This video has timestamps to guide you from one chapter to the other but I'd advise you not to skip so you don't miss the exact tool you might be looking for. My name is Favor Matthew and in this channel I teach tips that I wish I knew before I started YouTube. Make sure to stick around. At number one, we have YouTube Comment Finder. You've probably had moments where you were looking for a particular comment under a YouTube video, but you just couldn't find it, especially if it's a popular video with thousands of comments. Scrolling to search will not be logical at this point. That is where YouTube Comment Finder comes in. For example, let's say I'm looking for a video about all the iPhones ever released, and I want to see what people are talking about the iPhone 8. I'll just head over over to my browser, search for YouTube comment finder, type out the title of the video. If there are more videos regarding that topic, of course they are going to come up. Then it's left for me to select the one that I want. I'll go ahead and type in the keyword iPhone 8 and in seconds, every comment that mentions iPhone 8 is going to come up. How cool is that? <laughs> You can also use this tool to find out what people are talking about a particular subject in your niche by typing out the keyword, thereby boosting productivity and saving you time. At number two, we have open in app. If you're on Instagram and you post your YouTube link in your Instagram story or your Instagram bio, when somebody clicks on it, it opens up in a browser, thereby restricting this person from subscribing, liking, or even commenting on your video. Unless they log into the YouTube platform, and you know not a lot of people have this time. With Open In app, you can generate a new smart link that will lead people directly into YouTube, thereby allowing viewers to watch your videos properly, like, comment, or subscribe, thereby boosting engagement and click. And to add, you can use Open In app for any link, not just the YouTube platform link. At number three, we have thumbnailpreview.com. Your thumbnail might look really good until you post it and you realize it blends with everything else on the YouTube homepage. <laughs> Sorry. So before uploading your video, upload your thumbnail and title to thumbnailpreview.com to see how it will appear on YouTube. This tool will help you judge how clickable yours is by comparing it to others, giving you a better perspective on how to tweak the design if you need to. You can also preview how your video looks on different devices like the phone, the laptop or tablet. Now up next at number 4 we have flat icon. Here you find over 18 million vector icons and stickers for thumbnails, videos, and general social media. You can just type in the name of the icon you need and you will see 100 plus great options. They even have animated icons in MP4 format, which you can add to your video after removing the background using chroma key. The site only asks for credits when you use the icons commercially. This means when you use it for content or products that are monetized, you will have to give credits to the producer of the icon in your description. For example, icon made by Freepik from flaticon.com. Now moving on to number 5, we have fontsquirrel.com. Have you ever found that perfect font and you don't know the name and even when you later found out, you found that that the font is extremely expensive like $50, $70, yeah fonts cost that much. But squirrel.com will give you fonts that are 100% free for commercial use. And you can take screenshots of a font that you do not know the name and take it to fontsquirrel.com. Use the font identifier feature to match with your screenshot and it will give you multiple results of that font and even similar other fonts. Up next at number six we have Adobe Podcast Enhanced Speech. With how much the quality of audio affects the overall content, it is quite tricky to ignore a bad audio. 
because you know that audio will either make or break your content. Adobe Podcast Enhanced Speech uses AI to clean up your audio like it was recorded in a professional studio. This is how I'm sounding without any enhancement. You can hear the sound of my fan. Maybe it might not sound as terrible because I'm using a high-end mic. Just upload your file under 30 minutes and under 500 MB and in few seconds it will be enhanced. If you've learned something new so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it to two of your creator friends so that we all grow together. And you can also subscribe to the channel if you've not. Turn on post notification so you can see my future video. I am waiting. <laughs> Thank you. Let's move on. Now up next at number seven, we have return youtube dislike extension few years ago youtube removed public dislike counts to reduce embarrassment and throwing but many creators and viewers didn't like this you couldn't judge the quality of a video easily anymore so a developer made the return youtube dislike extension it uses data from the youtube application program interface and its user base to show you estimated dislike counts just like the old days to show you how much people want to see bad things so <laughs> it's currently used by over 6 million people and it works very well especially for high viewed content now at number eight we have freesound.org here you will find almost every kind of sound effects for your video all the orishi rishi sound effects this is where you will find it i was compiling my sound effects library last week and i was wondering where can i get high quality sound effects before i stumbled upon this platform it is a user generated library where people upload their own sound effects on a daily basis y'all <laughs> there are well over 600,000 sounds as at 2025 most of the sounds are under creative common license so it is important to check the license before you use it creative common means you can use it without giving credit to anybody it is free to use cc by attributes means you have to give credit to the sound owner in your description sampling means the sound is not allowed for commercial use that means for your monetized content or your product or your service as far as there's money attached to it it is not allowed when you see sampling like this remove your eye make sure to check the faq page for full details on licenses and how to avoid copyright strike mm -hmm. now up next at number nine we have rapid tags in recent times there have been a lot of debate whether or not tags hold any kind of relevance as to getting views on your videos if yes or no i do not know but what i know is if youtube is still giving us the tag box for optimization then it is best not to leave it empty with rapid tags you can enter the title of your video and it will generate relevant tags for you all you have to do is to pick the ones you want and input into your tag box chicken up now moving forward to number 10 we have perplexity ai this is an ai powered search engine and research assistance that gives real-time answers it is ideal for youtubers who do deep research unlike google you don't have to open multiple articles perplexity ai summarizes the answers for you and shows you the sources so you can verify the facts now right up next at number 11 we have chat gpt <laughs> please chat gpt is almost everybody's best friend <laughs> i know for a fact that most if not all creators are using chat gpt right now like who isn't using chat gpt right now raise up your hand ChatGPT is one of the fastest growing websites. It's not surprising that ChatGPT reached 
over 100 million users within two months of launch. Hey, God. It's not surprising because of its ability to function as any character and its ability to deliver well at various tasks. From education to marketing to content creation, it is killing it. Like it is, it is, it is improving every day. Like for me, it is a core part of my content workflow. And for so many creators as well, especially the ones who do faceless content, they automate their entire workflow using ChatGPT, from the scripting to voiceover to basically almost everything. Meaning ChatGPT does majority of the work. To be honest, ChatGPT has really changed the game for creators and we are here for all of it. <laughs> Now the last but not the least coming up at number 12 is YouTube transcripts. If you've ever wondered if you can read from the beginning to the end of a YouTube video and you feel like oh is that possible? Yes, it, it is very very possible. All you have to do is to copy the link of the video and head over to your browser and type YouTube transcripts. The link that comes up paste the YouTube link there and it is going to generate the entire transcript of that video so you can read it and this is especially useful if you prefer reading to watching content. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. If you know any tool that will be useful to YouTubers, make sure to drop it in the comment section and tell me what you learned from this video. Till I see you next time, remember I love you but God loves you even more. Watch this video next.